Greetings, I'm C. Kagan Salis. As part of an NSF-funded project on graduate student instruction and the responsible conduct of research, our research team developed nine role plays on the responsible conduct of research. Each of these covers a core area in our CR instruction. The video you're about to see portrays two graduate students going through a role play on the topic of data management. Although this particular role play is scripted, it's representative of the kinds of events that unfold when you provide students with the role play materials. Those who are interested in using the role plays to teach RCR topics should find the video helpful in seeing how this method of instruction works and how the role plays unfold. In each of our role plays, one person plays the role of a student, usually the graduate student, and the other person plays the role of the professor, typically the graduate student's advisor. Before starting the role play, both participants are given character information, background information on the nature of the problem from their character's perspective. In the scenario you're about to watch, the professor has asked the student to come in to see her. She's very frustrated by what seems to her to be a lack of effort on the part of the student completing a fairly simple task. The student was assigned to replicate the results of a recent experiment by a postdoc in the lab. The student should already have completed the research and the professor is very frustrated by it's what seems to her as the student simply not taking the task seriously. The student, on the other hand, is very concerned and frustrated because he's been working very hard on the replication and he's simply not getting the results that the postdoc reported. He's beginning to be concerned and have some suspicions that perhaps the postdoc's results were fabricated. He's not sure how to raise these concerns with the professor and he's nervous about the meeting as well. During the role play, you'll see these two individuals attempting to resolve this problem where they have each incomplete information and quite different perspectives on the problem. We hope you find these role play scenarios helpful in conducting responsible conduct of research instruction, and we hope that you and your students enjoy them. Thank you. Uh, thanks, yeah. So you wanted to see me about some experiments I've been doing. Yeah, um, I'm just kind of curious why it's taking so long to reproduce the results, and I want to know what's going on. Uh, yeah, nothing's working. I've been, been trying, and uh, I've recorded everything. You can look at my notebooks, but it hasn't worked out. Um, you know, I... I need you to understand that I really need you to make this a priority. Um, I know you have a lot of other work to do. I'm sure a lot of it is more glamorous and more fun, but this really needs to be something that you focus on. Um, I mean, honestly, this is just as important in your training as everything else that you're doing. And I, I realize that, I, and I've, I've been working really hard on this. I, I've put in the late nights, and I've, I've checked all my work, and I've double-checked my work, and I just can't see what's wrong with it. So you have done this more than once? Yeah. I guess what I just don't understand is all you have to do is repeat the procedures. I mean, have you talked to the postdoc about your problems? I'm sure she could look over the work that you've done and, you know, help you figure out where those problems are. Yeah, I haven't actually talked to the postdoc but uh, I, I think it'd be best if I had some concerns. Maybe you just could look over uh, her lab notebook and kind of take a look at things. I really don't have time for that right now. I mean, why can't you just talk to the postdoc? You know, I, I feel a little uncomfortable doing so because I was, I was looking through the records of when we ordered supplies and I don't think we had some of the supplies on, on hand when the postdoc was doing these this work. Like the the record said that they, they, they were a couple of years old the last time they were they were ordered. So But I mean that must be an error. Yeah, see I, I thought so at first too. Um, but then I looked into it even more and when she was running the experiments, uh, the equipment she said she was using wasn't even working. Um, so, you know, I, I could go to the postdoc, but then I'd feel like I'm challenging her because, I mean, clearly there's some recording errors at this point, and I don't, I don't want to make her feel 
uh, you know, like I'm challenging her because I'm bringing up these errors, uh, I'd be more comfortable if you did it. So you're basically saying that you think that she lied about doing the work, which I, I can't see that being the case. Yeah, and I really hope I'm wrong, and I, I don't want to accuse, accuse the postdoc. I don't want to say that she's, she's lying. It could be just recording errors, and that's why I want you to, to take a look at, so you can take a look at my notebook and her notebook and try to figure out from there. Well, I mean, it sounds like that's something I'm going to have to make time to do then. Um, thanks. I, I, I really appreciate that. Is, is there anything else I can do for you right now? It sounds like you're pretty stressed right now, so why don't you just take a couple days away from the lab and why don't we set up a time to meet later in the week? We can go through the notebooks, um, I can, you know, see what's going on and maybe we can try to get this back on track a bit. That sounds great. I've been just so frustrated trying to get this to work and it's just really stressed me out, so that would be great. Okay. Well, why don't we look through everything at the end of this week, take a couple of days away, try to figure out what's going on, and we can figure that out. Sounds great. Thanks. I think we're done. <laughs>